What's up everyone? We're back with some small group videos. Happy New Year. We're so excited that we get to still meet um, with you guys and today I'm super excited just to share some of the things that I've been personally going through in my life and thinking about. Um, but before we start today, I just wanted to encourage you guys to just take a couple minutes with your small group and pray just for this time together um, in this um, community and just being in communion with one another. So just take a couple minutes, pray with your small group, and then we'll get started. All right, so today I wanted to kind of look out of Galatians for a second here. So if you want to grab your Bibles or grab your phones, whatever you have, um, I'm going to read from the NIV version, but it'll be Galatians 1.10. Um, and it's just saying, Paul's writing um, here, and it says, I am I now trying to win the approval of human beings or of God, or am I trying to please people? If I were still trying to please people, I would not be a servant of Christ. And so I had a devotional the other day I was reading through, and it brought up this this verse in here of just like the approval of man and humans and just earthly things. And reflecting back on last year, I was just like, wow, I try to find approval and people and other things that I thought would define me. Um, but especially I did this in high school, too. So my personality, I just love what people care like they think about me or if they think I am a great friend a good listener so I don't know if some of you guys can relate to that I feel like some of us can though of just trying to win the approval of other people and not necessarily of God and um and heavenly um things here and so I just wanted to talk to you guys today like I have struggled with that for so long and you are not alone if you as well find or try to find the temporary like approval of man. Um, as I started to realize like I was trying to seek the approval of everyone like in this world and not God, I don't know if you guys felt this way too. I just felt very empty towards the end of the day or that I was always worrying about in my head if I uh, was a like I said like a good friend or just um, someone who like is Im like impressed by others and I those would just like those thoughts would be in my conversations with people like I would not listen to what they're saying some of the time be like what advice could I give people to just think that I'm like a really good listener or like I can I'm smart and so I can give them this um, and in the devotional it was talking about uh this man that he was writing the devotional that he did that as well of just before he'd talk to someone or after he would talk to someone he'd always focus on himself and like the approval of things instead of like what is going to give glory to God and it's just something that I wanted to like reflect on today of what areas like in our lives are we actually trying to find like the approval of man or earthly things and so that question is just like what have you accepted like of the approval of man that you believe about yourself or um in your life of like I am trying to find the approval of like earthly things here so talk about it with your small group real quick um just process that through your head if you have a notebook go ahead and write those down but I, I'm gonna ask it again of what have you accepted as the approval of man in your life right now or looking back of last year like what were some things that you were finding temporary like happiness in but like not really like everlasting joy in the Lord so go ahead and talk about that All right. So from that question on, I kept reading through my devotional. I was like, what can I do to start focusing and having good habits of seeking the approval of God first before anyone else and just making sure that my truths um, of what God says about me, like I know in my heart instead of finding like happiness within people or earthly things. And I just wanted to read a sentence from his devotional that really like just opened my eyes and it said, to experience true freedom from the trapped 
mindset that we have about ourselves or the approval of others, we have to start understanding that there's nothing that can separate us from God and his love for us, not even our desires for earthly things or the approval of others. And I just thought that was so good and so uplifting and just encouraging of that no matter if I am trying to find the approval of others at the end of the day the Lord like that did not separate me from the Lord I feel like in high school when I tried to find the approval of others and I didn't get that approval or if I felt like they weren't if I like wasn't being appreciated that they were very far from me and they weren't my friends and they just like did not care about me but that is like the complete opposite of what the Lord is saying here of just that there is nothing that I can think of or that I am trying to impress God with that like can separate me from the Lord and that just brought me to the pas- the passage in Romans 8. So if you guys want to flip there with me real quick, um, it's verses 35 through 39. And I'm just going to read it real quick. And it just like popped into my head when I was reading this devotional. It said, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? As it is written, for your sake, we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all of these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And so I just wanted to challenge you guys today just to keep that verse in mind that no matter how much we're trying to find this temporary happiness, that the Lord um, is always there and nothing can separate us from his love and what um, he's trying to do in our lives. So I just challenge you for the beginning of this year just to even stop um, and evaluate of what you're trying to find approval in for others and just start to strive like for the approval of the Lord and figuring out like what that looks like within that and um just like to end things off today I actually wanted to go back and read that verse one more time with you guys but in this time it's going to be a different translation Uh, just for like more encouragement I love looking at different translations of the Bible just to get um different like perspectives about it um and then after this we'll have some questions for you guys for the small group But I'm going to read just starting from verse 38. It's called the Passion Translation. So if you guys want to look that up on your phone or if you have that Bible, you're more than welcome to follow along. And it says, now I live with the confidence that there's nothing in the universe with the power to separate us from God's love. I'm convinced that his love will triumph over death. Life's troubles, fallen angels are dark rulers in the heavens. There's nothing in our present nor future circumstances that can weaken his love. There is no power above us or beneath us, no power that could ever be found in the universe that can distance us from God's passionate love, which is lavished upon us through the Lord Jesus, the anointed one. And just as an encouragement today that nothing can separate you from God's love, no nothing that you think of earthly things or what you're thinking about in your head, that you're not alone in this. And so I just want you guys to talk about with your um, your small groups real quick um, or if you want to journal this out of how might your day look differently if we stopped seeking the approval of man and humanly things and started seeking only the approval of God. And what does that look like on a day to day basis or make some goals for this year with your small group of keeping each other accountable within that and making sure you are striving to to ask God first for things and just to know that there's an everlasting joy within that. Um, that could be a fulfillment to us.